In today's clip, uh, I'll be making one of my favorite amorphous comfort dishes of all time, fried rice. Is it authentic? Couldn't care less. Suck it, Uncle Roger. I'm the real Chinese and I can make whatever additions to fried rice as I'd like. Oh, and my wife's shooting the video and she's a little sensitive about whether her camera work was steady enough. Eh, I really don't care either way. She can join me in my amateurish video making because the process is most of the fun. So, without further ado, let's see if I can make this dish in a reasonable amount of time. So, today, let's see if I can make fried rice in a relatively reasonable amount of time. Okay, I got, uh, I got some chicken here. I'm gonna use some potato salad for reasons un unknown. And, all right, let's see. Let's see how long it actually takes me to make this dish. Okay, instead of butter or oil, I'm just gonna use, essentially this is the uh, leftovers of my roast chicken, right? You know, I think Americans would use this to make uh, their gravy, but I am gonna reuse it as my stir fry, okay? Some leftover bits of chicken, uh, actual bits of chicken. And uh, just for schnitz and giggles, because my wife likes, you know, um, spam for some reason. I'm gonna use these super cheap, these are like 60 cents a, uh, 60 cents a package of what my wife actually calls uh, hot dogs. They're not actually hot dogs, but um, they are a little bit, uh, in my opinion, a little bit um, uh, saltier than purely bland stuff. So we will use it in place of Spam because I think they're very similar in constitution. So yeah, a bunch of that. And I'm using very little actual rice. So, in, you know, instead of actual fried rice, this is more like uh, a stir fry with some rice on top of it and some some potatoes because I don't have a lot of greens in here oh lord so this is why you should always use leftover rice by the way for fried rice so it doesn't uh, have a lot of moisture our cat is chewing on the wire that uh, oh, oh oh cat cat chewing on the wire cat chewing on the wire bad bad cat What was I trying to do? Yes, I'm gonna add in a little bit of potatoes just because it's a little tangier than I would like. And uh, I don't have that much rice, so I'm gonna sort that out with, with rice. Uh, add in a little bit more, oh, 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 peas and Gotta have a spatula, everybody knows that. <laughs> Why would you use potato salad and fried rice? Uh, because I'm not that traditional, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, you know, people put frozen peas and carrots in their fried rice. I usually like peas, but I'm also too lazy to actually cut up carrots, so I'm using peas and carrots. They're really frozen, so I need to smash them. My, my wife is my camera lady. She's doing a wonderful job. You know, you can ask me questions about my process if you want. Do you, you want to ask me questions? I mean, they can't hear you, so you can just ask me whatever you want. She doesn't have a mic, so. Seems like maybe too little peas and carrots. Um, that's okay, last time I made fried rice, I put in like way too many peas and carrots, and the whole dish just tasted like frozen peas and carrots with some soy sauce on it. 
uh, as you can see, you know, I have too much onions, so I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna just put it back in. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, because the onions were part of the. Oh, that was way too hot. Time to put in the rice. I don't know how many minutes has it been. How many minutes has your video been running? Five minutes? My God, my. All right. So apparently, I thought I was making this super quickly, and I'm not. So we're just gonna add in more ingredients. Just uh, hope for the best, because, you know, for fried rice, it really is just, uh, it's already cooked. Almost everything in this pot is already cooked, right? So now you have chicken and weird little Viennese, Viennese sausages, not Vietnamese, but Viennese sausages. And uh, because I'm using chicken fat, what's in there is already spice to some extent, uh, but I will add some more spices in the form of oyster sauce. There you go. Not too much because I'm really just making this for one person. And a little bit of soy sauce. This is not the best soy sauce, by the way. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't copy me. Um, and all right, how many minutes are we on the cooking process? Seven now, seven, eight? Six and a half minutes, she says. Perfect, because I'm gonna put the thing back to medium high and just put in my eggs at this point. I'm almost done. Almost done. Look at my potato salad fried rice. My potato salad oyster sauce fried rice. Bet you've never heard of that because you can't find that in any specific restaurant ever, ever, ever. Um, this is also why no one should ever be ordering fried rice in a restaurant to begin with, okay? So, heat back to kind of medium high. I'm going to reuse some of these utensils to just simply break up the eggs. Now, every video I've ever seen of people making fried rice, they um, actually fry the eggs first and then they put it on the side, which I find absolutely absurd. I like to do the eggs while it's already in there, heating up with the rest of the stuff. What? Oh, that's gar garlic salt. And officially, I think what I'm supposed to be doing is putting in some sesame oil at the end. I always forget that part. Um, this is very, like a very Chinese ingredient. So the reason why I like uh, eggs last is because I feel like you could just let it kind of cook itself. Uh, you don't have to see, you can, you can see, as long as you have a relatively big pan, you can just let um, whatever, other ingredients you have kind of kind of really mesh with the eggs, right? I don't need my eggs to be separate. Um, but on the other hand, you know, I don't really care about runny eggs. You know, I'm not that American. I could never eat runny eggs. There you go. So now it looks all, you know, if you're wondering why the color of some of my toppings look a little yellow, that is because there was turmeric in the uh, initial in the initial uh, roast chicken that I did. So, see, it's really easy. If you have a large flat pan, the eggs will get cooked super easily. Uh, and you can stop wherever you want, right? Like whether you want the eggs to actually mix with the rice, which you wouldn't get if you cook the rice first. I mean, uh, the, the eggs first, which I never do. So, and you can cut it up or leave it alone. At this point, I think it's pretty good. I would just turn the heat down a little bit, make sure any remaining moisture gets uh, taken out. 
Now, finally, this time I remember some sesame oil. Now, sometimes I would add um, MSG at this point, but not today because I already have, you know, the whole base being a roast chicken spiced stew type of thing that came out of the oven after a couple of hours. And all right, what's the count of the cooking time? Almost 10 minutes. Almost 10 minutes. Sounds fantastic. Um, here's my drink, because uh, you know, best way to cook is when you're drinking. Whew. Okay, let's take a look at our beautiful, does that, does that look like, does my, does my wife yeah. approve of, of, of this dishy dish? She said yummy, I don't know if the mic. I know, that's fine. And uh, this was from essentially, uh, I turned the fire off. I think this is pretty much done. I mean, people might want to let it rest in the pan, but I like it uh, to rest in the bowl. By the way, if you look at this, like, let's come have a closer look. If you look at this, there's not that much rice in here. This is, the reason is because this is a, essentially a quarter cup of rice. That's how much I used for two eggs, okay? Because, you know, I don't know how much fried rice you've eaten in your life, but the part that I like about the fried rice is mostly all the other stuff besides the rice. <laughs> Which in here is chicken and onions and chicken sausages and all that stuff. And uh, I, I think, I think I'm, I'm good. And now I'm gonna have, have a little bite. Is it hot? It's pretty hot. Hmm. Um, I think that's the whole video. I'm gonna make my wife a bowl because she is so so it's a good sport. She's hanging out with me when I'm making lunch. And we'll see how she likes it. Okay. Bye.